iLog is basically the location in in mm -hmm. in this data frame. So, mm -hmm. um, you see, I I showed you the data frame. Mm -hmm. um, this case is called AAPL, and effectively, iLog is literally just the index. <clears throat> so, mm -hmm. so if this is the first uh, date here, mm -hmm. iLog would be zero. The second mm -hmm. date, iLog would mm -hmm. be one, okay. and so okay. on. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So that's just how you use the frame. But one extra thing I wanted to show you is this. <clears throat> you know, we had the dates here, and all we did is the I. So mm -hmm. we didn't really um, um, do anything else. Now, instead of I, we could actually use a real date. Wouldn't that be much more fun? Because then you can see how what profit you made at what date. Mm -hmm. And the way to do this is... Um, Every dot you see when you have data frame here, mm -hmm. the first column in this case is the index column, and the index is a date. It's what you call a date time index, mm -hmm. and you can do a lot with date times. You can do a whole arithmetic around date times. Mm -hmm. um, so, so one cool thing you can do is you can do um, um, AAPL dot index, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that gives you the index of all the dates. And mm -hmm. then you specify your i, which is basically the location in your mm -hmm. index. You know, it's an integer number. And so now if we run this again, and then we plot this. You will mm -hmm. see, boom, oh, you got the dates. Um, now, this doesn't look very fancy. One of the things we could do is uh, we could do plt.xtix, and then we could do something like rotation equals 45. And then you can see, mm -hmm. hey, you know, we've got these rotated. And now you can see all the dates on which we actually made this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could make this plot even more fancy, for example, by doing something like plt.grid. So that gives us grid lines, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also what we should never really forget is plt.xlabel uh, dates, uh, plt.ylabel pnl. And now, now uh, what that does is it basically gives names to the mm -hmm. axes here. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. also um, there's also something else you can do. You could do label equals, and then you could say comp, uh, uh, reinvesting, uh, reinvest. And here you could say label equals no reinvest. And then uh, you can do plt.legend. So that gives mm -hmm. basically gives you a legend on your graph. And so now if you see this, oh, blue mm -hmm. is reinvest, orange is no reinvest. So now we have a much fancier graph already. Mm -hmm. And uh, something we can actually start to, to use. And it didn't take very long to produce. So obviously it takes a little bit of time to use those packages and learn about this, but um, it's fairly simple.